All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Do we have people who like winning here? Raise your hands. Almost all of us do, right? But do you know a person who likes winning more than you? A friend? Somebody in family? People who get really aggressive about winning? Yes? Have you ever got into a game where you felt, you know, this is not me, I got really aggressive, I, I, I went too much into competitiveness? Did that happen? Now, why I'm saying all this is because we all love to win. That is across, common across all, all game players, all people, anything that we do in life, right? But then there is intensity of winning and want to win. And that's what brings me to the kind of people that, you know, the gamers that we have, about 300 million plus gamers in India, how are they charted across their motivation to play that game? The amount of time that they invest into that game, are they willing to pay for that game, right? Nitesh here mentioned uh, earlier in the day that, you know, people, the monetization does not happen and people do not pay so much uh, in India right now. Why is that? Because a large amount of people are doing casual gaming, they come there and, uh, you know, sort of to fill up the time, they'll uh, open up the app, play for some time, get off it. The willingness to pay is very, very poor. Then there'll be some people who'll be lapsed gamers. They love to take breaks. They're busy through the day. They want to, uh, you know, uh, have that spirit of competitiveness and they're willing to pay slightly higher on that game, but do not invest so much of time. Then there are diehard gamers. And I think uh, the whole day today we've been talking about the diehard gamers, people who uh, are really into gaming. There's cult followership for those people. They, you know, there's esports streaming happening for those people. And the willingness to pay is way higher. They'll buy everything, they'll, anything branded, anything, you know, uh, skin in the game or any new features which is there, they'll, they'll start paying for that. Then there are community gamers, people who like to play board games with family, social time, connect, right? And they're slightly more mature. They are uh, not so competitive, but they like bonding mostly and they'll, they'll go onto that game to play with their friends and family in the social network. And yes, because they're upwardly mobile, they'll, they'll also spend a little to pay for the, for the you know, uh, premium features. But then there's also a genre which is probably the biggest genre in the Indian ecosystem right now, which is bougie gamer. Now, I don't see a lot of Gen Z sitting here. How many people know what bougie means? Raise your hand. I thought so. This is not Bauji from DDLJ. This is bougie, which means upwardly mobile, people who love extravagant lifestyle, people who like the thrill, the competitiveness, but also they like the money. They like the color of money there, right? And which is what, that is the audience that, that goes into playing RMG, uh, you know, uh, games. Now talking about RMG, first games is, is an RMG, uh, which falls under Paytm Ads ecosystem. What we've seen happening on our platform, on first games, is that these people are 20 to 40 years old. They are business owners, self-employed, and have got heavy spending powers. They spend about four minutes average on a game. It could be a challenge, it could be uh, you know, a, a poker hand, it could be, they'll come in, they'll play for about average four minutes, they'll get out, right? They play about 35 plus games every month, which are paid games, wherein they'll, they'll stake their money. About 300K users per day who are coming in to play games on first games. 2.5 million monthly active users. Average stake for, on, on, on a user level is 20,000 rupees per month. Can you imagine that? Right? No other game sees a, a, a user which has that kind of spending capacity or money in the pocket. We've got about 80 million plus games played every month and about 40, time, 40 minutes uh, average time uh, you know, per day per user. Now I want you to look at these numbers because there is something about these numbers which, is, which should make you think, yeah, how is this 
right? It should not, it's not matching up. And I'll answer that in a bit. You might want to look at it again and figure out it's not matching up. Moving on, these users have 35%. So we, we did an analysis, right? Because the deterministic signals that Paytm adds ecosystem is able to pick across our ecosystem for our users. We're able to say very deterministically, not probabilistically, we know that this person transacts. We know that this person does this. And we, are able, we were able to find out that people who play RMG in the same month, within the first 30 days, 35% of them make transactions across shopping outlets or offline or online. They, about 30% of people order food or purchase food over the counters or restaurants uh, in the same month itself. We've got about 16% people who book tickets within the same month. And this goes on up till third and fourth month, M1, M2, M3. The, it's, it's a very high, solid uh, ratio that, that keeps going. We've got about 8% people who spend on wellness. Clearly, gamers not spending too much on wellness. Uh, we've got about 7% people who spend on beauty products or uh, you know, direct fashion uh, outlets. And about 2% people who book movies tickets, which is very low. Clearly, uh, a trend that has been shown that the, move, you know, the gamers or this generation, it's moving away from, from media in its traditional sense and spending more and more time on, uh, on, on gaming. Now, talking about spending more time, I'd asked you that those numbers were, were not matching up, right? Anybody who was able to figure that out? No. So if you go back, you'll see, I'm sorry, for this, here. Four minutes average game time, 35 games per month, but 40 minutes per day. What are they doing? 40 minutes. Right? They're not playing as, as many games. That is a user behavior that we've seen when a person comes on to play. They are not only staking money and playing and winning or losing, but they're also checking their credits, checking what, how much balance they've got in their wallets, seeing if there are any other options to win some credits or bonus points that they can again stake back so that they don't have to put the money back, right? So these users spend a lot of time exploring the lobbies and the app across when, even when they're not playing, right? So this was the interesting bit that, is, uh, that, that came out. Now, what do we make sense of it? Yes, please. Fifty thousand rupees a month per user. That also looks absolutely outlier. Uh, it is an average of all 2.5 million uh, users making transactions, and if you divide that by the total waging and the staking that happens on the platform, that's the average that we've given. Seems surprising. It is pretty high. It is. It is quite high. Moving on. So now, what do you do with with these users who are so intensely engaged on this app? Right? Because there's this money, right? You're playing a, a, a game of cards, you know, without the money, and with the money, your intensity and your attention to the game is very different, right? You all remember Diwali Bay, if you're, if you're playing, right? You played in a train without money, does not, doesn't, you know, uh, it's not so intense. But when there's tape, money on the table, you get all involved, right? So these users are there on the app, talking, thinking about money, are upwardly mobile, extravagant, opulent, how do you captivate their attention? And First Games is one of the only RMG games which has come up with these innovative solutions where we allow brands to come and advertise around the game, of course, which is the simple uh, tool available at multiple uh, places. You could have the lobby backgrounds branded through the skins, you could have branded games, you would have product placements right at the lobby around the game when they're not playing. And this is a place where they spend a lot of time figuring out what stake they, do they want to play, do they have enough balance or not, right? Uh, you could use the ATF BDF banners, you could use splash screens depending on the, on the, on the kind of campaign that you have. Then we've got 
in-game immersive experiences that you can do. At the time when that user is spending so much time playing cards, right? And it's a social game. You've got more people on the table. You could send products, uh, you know, for a cheers or a tease to the, to the other user who's either, uh, you know, lost from you or won from you. You could, uh, you know, have a branded game of you know, the whole deck of cards, the, the, the skin around. You could make a person feel that they're sitting in Maldives and uh, sipping onto your uh, beverage, right? Uh, there itself in the game. More options in game could be your, uh, you know, sponsoring the, uh, the, the, the tournaments which are there. You could have the bonus points and claims that come up. Uh, that the user actively is looking for can be branded through your uh, your brand. You could have your own jackpot uh, slot machines with your branded prizes or your branded icons uh, there itself, and the user actually gets actual rewards that they can go back and stake and play more games with, right? Then you've got immersive uh, experience where I think uh, Anirudh was just telling recently that you could have Parlaji in the instead of the coins, you could actually have. Uh, points or scores or winnables of your product within uh, within the game, which could be a game of uh, skill or knowledge, and uh, we could actually transfer that credit to that user to go and play more games and get that benefit through your brand. Now we also thought of some more innovative solutions because uh, uh, you know is that it is is only showing your brand enough? Uh, we went a step ahead. And because of the Paytm Ads ecosystem, we understand that people love rewards, right? We introduced another uh, innovation, which is scratch cards. You must have seen across all payment apps, you, you receive the claim coupons in scratch cards. Uh, you could have your own scratch card given to these users at different milestones uh, or, uh, you know, at, at a different uh, event in the game, around the game, wherever that you like, can be triggered. And you can have a seamless redemption point where a user gets that voucher. The voucher sits in their wallet for about uh, a month or 15 days or a week, and let that user click uh, click on it and claim uh, that uh, that reward or offer on your own website. Right? This is the only tool that allows in an RMG to draw a user outside from the app. Right? Then we've got uh, video solutions where uh, this is, a, you know, for representation, we've built this where a user, when they're searching through the lobby what to play, there is a video a widget that could pop up and give, uh, you know, great attention to your, uh, your brand campaign or, or a video. I'll just play quickly. Sec. The video did not play. There's a video here. Anyway, so uh, this particular mobile screen, when a user is actually driving through the lobby, they're looking for more games, this widget flies out, and this whole video, uh, the screen that you see saving the world again after lunch, this is for uh, Red Bull. Uh, there's a CTA, no more, that can drive the user out of the app again because they're not playing the game. Uh, they're just uh, scrolling through, and you can have those moment uh, sort of messaging there uh, within the app. Talking about Paytm ads, uh, first game is one part of the ecosystem. We've got about 350 million plus users across the Paytm ads ecosystem here, uh, across the first games, the payments, movies, uh, you know, health. We've got Paytm Insider. We're one of the largest ticketing partners and top events. All that is integrated under one umbrella of Paytm ads, and we can help you and your brands. Uh, benefit and leverage this ecosystem from various touch points, start and end your user journeys and, uh, you know, uh, targeting journeys across, uh, across this ecosystem. I've got my team here, Vikram and Deepshree, available in the room. If you want to talk to them, please reach out to them and, uh, and, and, and get to know more about it. That's about it. Thank you.